but that's an old one first question. Uh, all we hear is that the hotel will be funded and guaranteed for the uh, on the back of the tax Can you explain a little bit as to why that's not true? It's real simple. The hotel is going to be paid for by people that stay there. We will issue revenue bonds, which is the same that we've done, or they've done, in Baltimore and Phoenix and Denver and Houston and some other places. All those were real successful and recovered. So that's what we want to do. And the great thing about that is, that means it doesn't come out of the taxpayer's pocket. It's paid for by the people that are going to use that hotel and stay there. But what's important to keep in mind is when a visitor comes in, and they spend it all. They can spend it a lot of different ways. The hotel just one piece. They're going to go to restaurants, they'll buy stuff at uh, shopping centers, they will employ cab drivers, they'll employ people who build stages at the convention center, all sorts of things like that. When they spend that money, that's taxes that come in locally that means you and I don't have to pay for it. Better to have a visitor to put that dollar in than it is you and I. My next question. I guess you can tell what something's a good deal by who supports the hotel. So with that said, can we name some of the people who actually support the hotel? I can name a lot, but I think as important as who's supporting it is why they're supporting it. Um, you start out with every business organization. Every business organization. It ranged from the Greater Dallas Chamber to the Black Chamber. The Oak Cliff Chamber to the North Dallas Chamber. The Hispanic Chamber and on and on like that. Plus, there's company after company that stood up and said, hey, look, you need to vote no. But the reason that they're doing it is real simple. They pay a lot of taxes. They understand that if we don't continue to create a tax base that allows us to provide services, then that means one of two things are going to happen. Either more taxes are going to be thrust on them, or services aren't going to be provided, and this is a lot less attractive place to do business. So that's why they're into it. Again, it because they like you and me, it's a very hard business reason. They understand they pay taxes. They want to have other people pay taxes. They want a city that's strong and an economy strong. The other group that's with it is 30 different hotels. Hotels that have stood up and said this is important. Again, why did they do it? it wasn't because they wanted to get involved in this. It was because they understood that the industry was important. And they could not be successful if you didn't have a strong industry. Then you've got the community leaders. People like Eddie Bernice Johnson, Royce West, and John Pilot Price, and on and on. And again, they're in it simply because they want to have a strong economy. They know the public sector will be worse if you've got a strong economy. And then I also tell you it's people like this. It's people that are the young professionals that have come out. And the reason that you guys know as well as I do, but I think you're probably the best example of all. You're more concerned about the future. How the future is going to be. Is it going to be an economy? Is it going to be a place that you can be proud of? It's vibrant and exciting. Because the reality of it is a lot of these decisions you're going to have to live with. And most of them are going to fall more on your shoulders than some of the old people are going to be long run. Well, I think a great follow-up question that would be, who doesn't support the hotel? Well, it's basically one person. And that one person has an interest because they own a hotel. They've been at this a long time. And again, this isn't a new issue. This issue's been around 25 years. We've tried to get it done and tried to get it done. We haven't been able to. And this is our chance to get it done. But there's one person that's putting and by the time they get done, they'll put away a little over $5 million in it. And again, it's to their advantage to throw them as many of the mistruths and a lot of mud against the walls as they can, because that's what they want. That's what they wanted for a long period of time, is to stop the hotel. And that's fine. But that's not in the best interest of you and me. We ought to be more concerned broadly with how Dallas does, how we do as a tax base, how we creating jobs, because that's what our interest ought to be. Okay, let me ask you. Why is it so important for Dallas to be competitive in Well, first of all, there's a lot of money in the business. I mean, this is billions of dollars worth of economic development. It's well over, it's nearly a quarter of a billion dollars worth of local taxes. So all of those pieces are important. We've got an industry that's paying that kind of money, and we know it's uncompetitive. That, that's an easy one. We can go out and talk to all the groups that, if, that, that say that they want to be in Dallas, but they won't come for one reason. That's the lack of a convention center hotel. We talked to a lot of large groups, American Heart Association does. I think probably the best example was not a big group, and not even a medium-sized group, but a group of audiologists that were in town last week. They came in town, said, like being in Dallas, and they'll never come again. And it was real simple. No convention center hotel. They walked through with the media, said, look, it's just too much of a hassle. We've got to worry about buses, we can't have our poor people there, all those sorts of things. That's the same thing that we've heard time and time again, but you really see why we used to be number two, number three, now we're number nine, then we're going way down. 
But the reality of it is, it's about taxes, it's about jobs, thousands of jobs, and not just the jobs in the hotel. It's jobs that, you know, cab drivers, it's jobs that people that work in shopping centers, it's people that build these stages, it's all those sorts of people working in restaurants, all those sorts of things. And that's what's important about this, this conversation. And unfortunately, that you got a lot of this stuff that's thrown, you know, buttons get thrown along the wall, but doesn't have anything to do with it. It's more unfortunate, but that's where we are. Well, I think in many ways, this is probably the million dollar question. If this is such a good deal, why does it not and I think that, that's a great question. And the reality of it is, is we've been trying to find someone in the private sector for 25 years. But I'll also tell you that those other cities that I named earlier, they haven't been able to find it. And, and, and for two very good reasons. First of all, we're in the convention business. We, we, we've got a billion dollar asset, as these other cities that I mentioned. And this convention center hotel has really become an appendage to the convention center. It's not a separate business, it's part of bringing conventions in. So it's the same business, so that's, that's the first part of it. The second part of it, and, and again, I want to be real clear, the city is not going to develop it. We've got somebody that knows how to develop it, they'll do a great job. We're not going to build it, we've got somebody that's going to build it, they'll do a great job. And we're not going to operate this. Somebody's going to operate it, they're going to do a great job. The reason that we're doing it, the reason those other cities have, is cities can do taxes and finance. It's just a much more attractive way to finance what is a large project that touches so many different parts of the economy. Keep in mind, you and I go out and invest in a commercial building or something, that's going to affect us. But it's got a relatively small piece to the overall economy. This has got a big impact. We're talking about bringing hundreds of thousands of people in the community. We're talking about touching industry after industry. We're talking about a big piece of the tax base. That's why the city needs to do it, and that's why those other cities did all. I'll give you an anecdote to, to show you. I, I'm involved in what they call the U.S. Conference of Mayors, which is a group of, of the mayors across the nation. And they have different sessions on transportation and sewer and all this other sort of stuff. The one session that gets more people to come to it than anything else is the convention tourism business, for a very simple reason. It brings in visitors, it brings in taxes. Those other folks understand that. That's why they made the investment. If we don't do this, then as you said in your question, we're not going to be competitive. We will walk away from being competitive. And when we start doing that, then you've got a city in a downward spiral. And that is something that too many cities are in, they can't get out of it. And it's really a shame because we got too many assets. We know we can be successful. We've been successful. People are telling us that we can be successful by the room nights that they booked just when we started talking about this. But if we start walking away from these, then we'll really walk away from our future. And you can make you know, we have a lot of decisions to make. Those decisions are important. They affect us years in the future. We cannot walk away from making decisions like this. If we do, then we're going to decide that we can't be competitive. And no matter if it's a city, a business, or an individual, you make that decision not be competitive. And sooner or later, you're not going to be successful. We'll see that. Well, Mayor, this is my last question. And we'll get to our time. But um, I was wondering if you could speak a little bit about how this hotel will help to revitalize and redevelop. That's a good one, and not a lot of people have touched on that. We've touched on the importance to the industry and what it does as a visitor development, but the development piece is going to be a big, big issue. Uh, it'll have a big impact on the downtown area, as you can imagine. Other cities have found when they've done a convention center hotel that they've seen investment come around. Denver's a great example. Denver has produced a lot of private investment that's come once that impetus, once you start the industry for, for rolling particularly in the southern part of the city, I think it touches a lot of different ways. Uh, clearly the jobs. There's going to be a lot of jobs that come with this, both building it long term. There's going to be other jobs that come in all those areas that I talked about, restaurant, that sort of thing. You're also going to see, I think, that this is going to re rejuvenate kind of south the southern part of the downtown as you get over towards um, the, the other side of the convention center. Uh, that, I think, is going to be an ex exciting piece of it. And also keep in mind, that what we're trying to do is balance investment in one versus south. That is all dependent, and the things that we're trying to do in south, of having a strong tax base, of being able to get monies to come in, get vibrant economy that brings money in, to be able to reinvest that in the community. The southern part of that is a key part of it. If we've got a city that's not producing taxes, not producing that revenue base, then all of a sudden it means that we just can't do a lot of things that we need to do. And then again, one step down, and two steps down, and three steps down, that's just not the place we want to be. There's risk in it. The first thing I tell you is there is risk. There's always risk. We're going to walk out of here. There's risk in walking out of here. 
but I can tell you the big risk is that we don't go forward. And the one guarantee I give you, and I'll put, all this, put, put aside, you know, crystal balls and that sort of thing. Nobody's going to protect the future here. But I guarantee you that if we don't go forward, we are going to see a tax base that's going to go down, at least in this industry, and it's going to have to be made up somewhere. And that's going to be in the back of the tax base. And that's just not right. Thank you very much.